your favorite messy, fluffy headed YouTuber. This ain't it. Actually, it looks kind of cute on camera, but I know as soon as I take it off, I'm gonna be like, uh, why? Don't you just love it when your life is as messy as your hair? Anyways, today we're checking out inventions that exist that you need now. <gasps> so this is a tea maker, but it's a dude with holes in his pants just chilling in your water. You put the tea inside his pants, and then it seeps right out into the water. And then you drink his dirty bath water. <laughs> Ew. But I tried using one of these, and it kind of kind of sucked. But this one's different. I like this. It's a dude just chilling in your cup. And then when you're done drinking his dirty bath water, you just eat him into the sink. And then the cycle begins anew. Raise your hand if your job sucks. Okay, not me. Not to flex or anything, but my job's pretty dope. But if it's not, there is a little attachment that you can fill with liquid of your choice and slide it into your tie. So if your workplace, they don't have Fresca, you fill that bad boy with Fresca. No eating or drinking on the job, you just like pull that bad boy out. Ooh, Fresca in the workplace. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Comment below, what would you put in it? I would put Fresca. <laughs> some Fresca right now. I've been craving that for days. Text Evan, you are being way too loud. I can hear you through the wall. Here's your message. Okay, it's sent. Anyways, I'm in a closet. The walls are paper thin. That's how close I am to losing my Okay, this is for Come on now. This is a little too extra so you can like safely light a candle. They made like this line hole thing crevasse into the candle holder so you could just stick it in and light it. Well, I mean, they make those long nose lighters. You could just like stick it in and light it. This is a little too extra in a, in a bad way, in a useless way. Two out of 10 would not use. Okay, so this is a little extra. For only 3,990 yen, you can buy a bed with a built-in coffee table. It's like two things that just, just join them together so you can just like wake up, eat your breakfast or whatever, go back to bed. Wake up two hours later, eat lunch, go back to bed. You know, this is for potatoes. Or people who want to save space, or people who just want to have a nap, or people who got no time to waste. They want to eat their food and nap it off. You know, gotta put some respect on it. I understand. I understand the struggle. I mean, I would probably buy this. But then look like a turtle shell. <laughs> Different people like different things. Okay, so here's more pictures of it. So you're supposed to put it with a couch, preferably a sectional. So you know what? You can sit, sleep, and eat in all in the same area. Because everybody's got like tiny apartments in Japan, so like this is supposed to save space. But does it save your dignity? Mm. You ever wondered how they get corn off the cob for your chipotle bowl? There is a device you slide down the shaft <laughs> and it just strips all those bad boys off. Mm. We love a corn stripper. <laughs> so I've seen this done in restaurants, but they just like cut it off with a knife and then like rotate it and cut, cut, rotate, cut, rotate, cut, and then cut all the corn off. Because when I order my lote, I want all the corn cut off. You know, it's messy when you eat corn on the cob like, ah, no, ain't got time for this. Oh, another corn collector. Except this one's like a spaceship donut type thing. You just slide it right on down and it collects all the corn kernels. Wow. 10 out of 10 would buy. I like this one because it collects all of it. And then you could put your mayo and spices and cheese on top. Mmm. Delicious. I love how cute it is too. I wonder if these things actually work though. Like I feel like I should test them out or something. Because every time I buy a quirky kitchen object, you know, it, it never works. It just doesn't work for me. I don't know. You know, a lot of things I buy that are supposed to be like cool inventions rarely ever work for me. I'm not a believer. When I buy something and it actually does what it says it's supposed to do, I'm always like, oh my god, it's actually working. Like, I'm so used to being disappointed. Do you feel me? So now, 2019, you could buy a custom wrapping paper with hidden messages in the form of a crossword puzzle. So like, you want to low-key tell your friend, he's a scumbag, get an empty box, wrap it up with this wrapping paper, custom ordered, with scumbag hidden on it. <laughs> you know what? He might never even see it then. You never know though. You can get very passive-aggressive with this, or you can get like all cutesy or whatever, <laughs> right? Like with love or sweetheart or you know, the person's name. So it could, it could go either way. I don't know why my first instinct was like, put a mean hidden message on it. Here is a toothpaste contraption. So it rolls up your toothpaste for you. You just like wind it up the side. You don't have to like roll that bad boy up yourself for the last mouthful. Like you just attach your toothpaste, twist the knobs and oh, you got yourself a thick tube all over again. Whoa, okay, this is actually really cool. You! Yeah, you! Do you have a laptop? Are there never enough USB ports in your laptop? Okay, this one has two. Some of them have one. Some of them don't have any. You know they're making new laptops that don't have any. Apple, stop trying to make lightning bolts a thing. But y'all get it. You can never have enough. So what if, instead of the regular USB ports, they made all the USB ports like this? 
See, I looked at this at first, I'm like, wait, this doesn't make any sense because you just keep putting an extender on an extender on an extender. They ain't even called extenders. I don't know what they're called. Instead of having them point like this, if you had them point like this, like if they made every single USB wire like this, they could all just stack and you could just stack them all into one port. This is genius. Is this a thing? If it's not a thing, it should be a thing. This is the thing though. Light up toilet seat. I know you look at it, it'll be like, mm. But for all you midnight peers that think you're too grown for a nightlight, this is for you. It's better than a nightlight. The seat glows in the dark. You can see what comes out and what goes in and what flushes down. Without turning off your light, without disrupting the demon in your closet. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Comment below, would you buy this? I think I would. I just think it looks cool. Like every time I go to the bathroom, I get to go on this rather than this. Oh, finally. Something I can use, you know, to slice your pizza. If the pizza place doesn't slice your pizza for you, they always slice it. You know, this is only if you make like homemade pizza. Or frozen pizza. Frozen pizza doesn't come sliced. You have to slice that bad boy yourself. So this picks up the pizza and cuts it with a scissor. You have scissors that cut it. That is the best way to cut pizza. Like no stuck pieces all together and then the cheese falls off. You got perfect slices every time. This is bomb AF. I would get this. This looks like something that would actually work. Would you buy this or would you rather use the good old pizza cutter? <gasps> oh, this is a pasta cutter or a pasta store. I mean, this is just supposed to be cute. Like, oh look, a horsey made of pasta. But what purpose does it serve? I mean, it's cool. But you can't cook horse shaped pasta. It's just gonna end up being like regular pasta, you feel me? You know, I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but that's the truth. Oh, this is the future. This is the future. An umbrella with a cup holder. Cause you know, you got your coffee or whatever, and it's raining, you got your umbrella on the other hand. This is perfect, especially if it rains a lot where you live. You are saving a hand, cause what if like, mm, you need your phone, you're trying to order an Uber, how you gonna do it? One of those, gotta go. You can't hold your phone, a cup, and your umbrella. I mean, unless you put it in like mm, this, or hold it with your mouth. I don't know, but this is very genius. Comment below, does it rain where you live? Cause we see rain like mm, three times a year. <gasps> so you know those outlets? Okay, I needed one of these really bad today, cause my wires, they are struggling, reaching for dear life to plug into the outlet. But this one, so it comes in color coordinated, and they rotate. Cause it's like when the wires go in, and I'm trying to unplug something, I literally have to unplug everything. Or like, you know, follow the wires back, cause I, I don't know, I have a lot of wires, there's a lot of wires in my room. And I can't deal with all of them right now, okay? All right, so this is a little extra. Now we have a very niche demographic right here. So it is a desk and a kitty play place, all in one. You know, so you can have your cats in your desk, they can hide, they can play, they can live there while you do your desk work. And there's a hole at the top so they can just jump out and land directly onto your keyboard and you lose all your work. Oh, I saw this the other day. This is a real thing in a store. I thought about getting this for my couch. So it's like a coffee table, but it's not a coffee table. It sits like on the arm of your couch. So you can put drinks there, food, whatever. So you can be comfy in your seat, have it right next to you. Now you gotta lean over, gotta lean forward for my coffee table. No, very convenient. Do you hate slicing bananas? Well, there is a banana slicer for you now. I feel like there would be more problems than this than just slicing the freaking banana, which is so easy by the way and takes like 10 seconds. But you know what, for those that are extra or can't be trusted around knives, you got this little thing. You clasp the banana and it slices the banana. You have perfect slices every time. I mean, if you slice in like 10 bananas a day, then I guess this is pretty good. But it's like, come on, just slice the banana. Or you know what this is also good for? Ladies, whenever your boyfriend is acting up, just send this to him with no contacts. He'll get it. Do you hate cutting pineapples? Does it stress you out? Well now they got a pineapple cutter. So okay, I, I feel like this is not gonna work. I, I gotta try this stuff out. Like if you guys want me to like to try this stuff out because I don't believe it. It looks so simple in the picture. Like, oh you just put it in and like screw that bad boy in and screw it out and bam, you got yourself a pineapple slinky. No, life is not that simple. I'm looking at this right now and I'm like, okay, this is stupid. This is like a silicone tool. So you can pull this out of your oven. I mean, you could use any other tool. Literally any tool you have in your kitchen, you can like pull it out. Okay, this video turned into me critiquing viral inventions real quick. But yeah, I, I think this is stupid. It's like if you really wanted to do it, you could use a fork, pull it out. You could use a knife. You can use a stick like from your backyard. You can even use your finger. But don't do that. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and the which one of these would you actually use? Would you use any of them? You probably would, don't lie. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh!
I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Can we talk about how much my butt hurts? I've been sitting on this. I gotta put some pillows here or something. Uncomfortable.